Dead Book Free. Body Language 1, the records, and some jewelry. Just then, you heard footsteps from behind. You encounter Siphon while exploring the ruins. Looks like that was the right solution, eh? Say, isn't that an original copy of Dead Book Volume 3? I've been looking for that forever. Irie, pass it over here. I'll give you the Book of Unity instead. Alright, sure. I think that's the last one. Of course, pleasure doing business with you. Learn Miasma. Book of Unity. Siphon learned Slaughter Spell. Learn Silent Casting. Later. What does that mean? I hope I don't regret this decision. The inside of the loft was filled with the singing of the same mysterious voice raining down from the sky. Okay. So yeah, this I'm g I think this now is a good time to try going to the final dungeon. I'm going to try to shoot for the s standard uh, slow kill ending first, but... For, uh, uh, that, and then I'll try to get a sense of how strong I need to be for the speed kill ending. That's what I'm calling them, because apparently, for some reason, the easier ending to get is considered a true one. It's really weird. I really hope this is enough. Seems like a decent enough team, I hope. A crystal covering Trina's body emits a violet light. Touch. Apparently there's something good to help in if we bring only three people. We might be able to save Chuna. The atmosphere is thin, the clouds fall at your feet. High in the sky is a palace which towers upside down from the heavens toward the ground. You have finally arrived at the resurrected Imperial capital of Argadium. The surrounding meta structures have only a vague presence. Furthermore, the direction of gravity and sense of perspective are out of order. These feelings are collectively uh, uh, these feelings collectively indicate that this place exists in an unsafe flux between reality and unreality. The surrounding rocky areas are flowing crags shaped like an arena seating. The chorus of children are lined up on top of them with their hands joined prayer singing a mysterious song. The thing of pay enough the glory and permanence of humanity's works it is an epic that illustrates a land of liberty by uniting the world through heroic struggles and the fraternity of man. You recognize some of these children's faces. That kid, the, that kid we saw in the ancient city, he did, he got captured in the end. Chuna, souls of the petrified children are in prison here. But even as you call to them, they continue to sing with vacant expressions and do not answer. They are too far away for you to try and extricate them. Your efforts are in vain. Titus, speaking through Chuna. They are the foundation for ceremonial magic that serves as building blocks for the Imperial... something, said a voice. One of the children had stopped singing, opened his mouth and uh, her mouth and adopted a look of contemplation. The scene is the dream that dwells within the people of the world. A mental image modeled from the memory of the Empire, with those sleeping in crystal as its nucleus. Their song stirs up the hearts and minds of the people. Ambitions and ideals take root and spur on battle. And at the end of this cycle of conflict, my throne is created anew. The entirety of history of mankind his the entire history of mankind is nothing but my instrument. Chuna, what are you saying? The figure wears the body of Chuna, but its voice is someone else entirely. This girl has inherited the cursed blood of the hero king. So she's a descendant too? But she doesn't look like me. Consequently, she has latent potential as a substitute body. Will you be able to raise your hand against her? Gah. Truly, affection does little but hold back human greatness. Ask how he can moralize all this. Challenge him without delay. Which one's the better choice? How can you moralize this? Moralize? It's foolish to, foolish to ask. How can a child crush an insect and not be full of malice? They are simply acting as they are given providence. Similarly, to seek power and immortality is the true essence of humanity. I was the first to awaken our, to our true nature, and my reign cannot continue until I am the last. Seems that exchanging words no longer holds any meaning. If you wish to send him back to whence he came, you need to use force. I see you've made your choice. An exercise in futility. See a step backwards and float lightly in midair. We shall begin our harvest once more. Come, place your heart's content. Okay. Blow through the air and land at the base of the tower at to the rear. If you defeat this, your long search will be over. Chase him down, corner him, and bring him down. At the end of the stairs is an inverted tower. Even the direction of the gravity is indefinite in this illusory city. You step inside a window into a parapet and head to the bottom of the tower. That's to say, you ascend upward. The stairs inside are bent and twisted throughout. Ceilings become floors, become walls. You get dizzy moving through it all. With some difficulty, you soon come out to a space where you can see open sky. Your foe awaits. Tia stands above a building floating in midair. He lies in wait, surveying the illusory capital and the land below. It has been too long. Let the battle be joined. Come. 
Okay, if you're close to Tidus, you can use close range attacks, but if you're too far from him on the map, you must use long range attacks. Kind of inconvenient. Powerful destructive magic and martial arts run wild, and in the aftermath, the stone scaffolding is plowed like soil. He continues his devil may care onslaught, soaring over the wreckage as he remains suspended in midair. Your fervent efforts, to, as to be expected of my scion. He runs away. At this distance, it's unlikely anything can reach him except long, long, long range attacks like magic and projectiles. You don't close the distance, short range attacks have little effect. Pursue. Okay. But while pursue before I pursue, I must swap out my equipment. Hmm. Kingfisher bow is not even a real bow. Stupid mistranslation, man. Ugh. So I will have to use Sherrick's bow on you. No bridge is erected before you leave the TSS location. You begin crossing the White Stone Bridge. You better hurry. But, ju but just as you thought you heard a mocking voice, Tia shot a magic spell from afar. Okay. Same thing, just... Fighting Spirit. Fighting Spirit. Wait, does that mean he's also limited to magic? Hmm. Arya. Yeah, he is. It might be easier that way because of all the resistances I have. Oh, I actually got him. There's a chance that he can actually drop a rare accessory, but it's not likely. A pillar of lightning scores a direct hit on this bridge. You run to the other side just before it's destroyed. The crumbling bridge slowly drops in your wake. Your power retreat has been completely cut off. The only choice left is to move in on Titus. Hang gardens are constructed on artificial ground supported by a number of pillars. Apples grow ripe on the drooping branches of fruit trees, rising to the same altitude as the clouds. There are people wandering between the trees with dreamy looks. A familiar woman is sitting at the base of an apple tree. Seems our dear ancestor means to trap you here, in this illusory capital. But he's at the end of his rope. He got carried away and is running out of fresh bodies to possess. Chase him down and give him his last rites. If you keep up your onslaught, you will eventually deliver a fatal blow, and that will be that. Seems I became part of some manner of dreams. Such a spectacle cannot be a reality. But I do hear it, the song of merit of long ago. Someday I will lead an army across the continent. Spellbound, he lowers his eyelids. A man in the priest guard is walking around with his eyes lit up. Was this beautiful city built by human hands? Do the gods mean to demonstrate to us that mankind still holds great potential? This is th is this place is this is the place for my story? Wait, and who the hell am I? Okay. This time I'm going to attack my close range. So swap out. Small temples lined up on a foundation supported by pillars. Tius is standing on the bell tower with his arms stretched, looking down at you. What happened? You're late. Tius commences attack. Tius appears. Fighting Spirit. Fighting Spirit. Post Barrier. Ah! Top of the bell tower, dragging the bell is smashing his spell makes an upsetting rattle as it tumbles down. Tease again sorcery the arrow with a determined smile and descends at a distant place. To get to the other side of the city, you'll have to walk across the rocks falling in a circle around the aerial palace. You don't know what will happen if you step off. In the cross, try your luck. Jump from rock to rock to get to your end. Get them. However, hearing what you believe to be Tisa's voice, enemies pop up and surround you. They are mysterious beings that are neither living nor mechanical. Imperial Capitals custodians swoop down. Okay.
tornado. Win the bell. Crawl closer. Route the swarm of enemies and plunge out forward through a flowing cluster on your way. To the other side. This is very close now. I don't know which one of these will be the final battle against him. Or the final phase. I hope they remind me. Okay, the blue thing is actually a free time healing point. So let's skip that one for now because I don't really, I don't need it yet. Buildings of all sizes fit together in complex configurations, completely ignoring the laws of physics, and form an enormous three-dimensional maze. Avenues go up walls. Alleys stretch into meaningless dead ends, and pillars ex extend upside down. A gate leaning nowhere stands atop the stairs protruding from the bizarre townscape into the air. Deus lies in the way top on top of it. A swordsman. Fighting spirit. Oh, crap! <laughs> the age of Tidus in Mortal Kombat running through streets left and right, top, bottom, front, back, for that matter. The window frames of the buildings have collapsed and bricks lie everywhere. Yes, run, run for your life. The heavy bell tees against swords through the air and lands in a remote location. He's still close enough that I can probably nail him with close range attacks. The cylindrical tower lost high in the air, surrounded by massive parapets. Thousands of saints with their hands linked in prayer are lined up in the wind hollows of the wall. Are they really just statues? As if under construction, part of the wall is missing and allowing you to climb up. I saw the parapet is the figure of Titus. It's time to sell this. His offensive. Seriously, it's kind of annoying how he keeps running all the damn time. Just face if I just all at once, so I don't have to recast my damn buffs. Ah. What? Is it good fortune or the gods reward for tenacity? Having exchanged the onslaughts endlessly, a blow of all your might finally penetrates Tidus' defenses and his weak point. I can't regenerate in time. There's no way I could be going like this. But this is merely a substitute after all. I cannot win with a body like this. Tidus escaped the disguise and retreated to the aerial palace. It's time to finish the job. So that's the final battle, huh? No. Just got my way, little stone thing. Oh, got some money. Okay, so this is really the last time I can fight him, I guess. Hmm. They say there's supposed to be something I can do at the bottom right corner, but... I guess for now I'm just gonna have to shrink once. And then just continue the onslaught. Destroy him. Sun is setting. The palace of floats upside down in the center of the Imperial capital. Rising from the heavens to the earth, several obelisk-shaped minarets, hundreds of sculptures, and thousands of pillars manifest the majesty of the aerial palace. No imperial ca uh, castle built on land can surpass this aerial palace. This palace expresses con concretely the yearning for honor, authority, gl and glory in the hearts of the people. However, when you cross the narrow bri stone bridge to the other side of the aerial palace's foundation, you realize that there's nothing there. There's simply a flat surface of rough brass-colored metal illuminated by the setting sun. The entire foundation is perfectly circular and revolves in a manner imperceptible to the body. A number of gear-like parts float in the upper air and rotate at their respective speeds in joint operation of the palace. If a small gear makes 60 revolutions, another one might make 12. This, they gave way to another gear, uh, gears that make perhaps 6 rotations. Through gears upon gears, the palace revolves a little more with each passing moment. Behind the scenes of this floored illusory capital is an enormous clockwork machine gently marking the passage of time. In the center of the brass-colored stage lies a girl collapsed, trailing a long shadow. We cautiously move forward, but it seems she lacks the strength of fighting longer. 
Ah, you b both came. Hey, come on, hang there. I was always so afraid. When well, you guys would always be off somewhere doing something rash. Now look at me. Guess you don't have to worry about coming home and getting rat nagged anymore. We were told we could go to a place where there was no sorrow. I guess that was a lie. Tuna, open your eyes. Try everything in your power to help Tuna. But nothing can stop the bleeding. But then the ethereal fragment you had begins to shine. For an instant, you sense an avenue to somewhere far off on a high, on high. Open up. What's this? The force flowing in the Tuna's body regenerates her wounds. You, I'm back. You hold Tuna at your breast. You finally got her back. Tuna's added to the party. At that moment, you saw light overhead. You thought it might be a falling star, but it wasn't. It was something like the sparks scattering in the sky, sleeps in bl black of night. You're still more. You're 20, level 27. What do you even have? Rune sword. Where are you even can you What can I even put on you? You're a mage type, I guess? Circlet for the sake of safety. Skills? You got all the basic heals. Now I feel kind of... Maybe Faricia is redundant, huh? No, she also has some powerful magic type stuff, I guess. White Spear. What? Arrow spell area. A magic sword type of weapon. Do I even have anything like that? Rune sword. Is that really worth using here? Hmm. Such a... What? I don't know what she's supposed to be able to do. Okay, I really hope you don't screw this up, Chuna. Ugh. Okay, I hope we're ready. Got literally all I could get put my hands on. The stars, you feel an overwhelming power. You look up high. I see it now. To bring you into this world was a mistake. More than any of my previous vessels, you were distilled by my purest essence and held the potential to surpass me. But that is also what makes you such a worthy vessel. As long as I reside here at the limits of the Palace of Infinity, my power is insurmountable. I will be your end. The rotations of the surrounding gears intensify and spark purple lightning. Tens of millions of minute ball lightnings released into the air become connected by electric balls and mature like living creatures. 3,000 years since I lost my flesh, 2,000 years since my name was forgotten. No matter the accumulated wisdom, those with no flesh, no name only lose their hearts. But I understood at once that strife and domination are the true nature of man. If that is true, I will rest my own heart back, for my own body, and rule the world with my own name. And so a giant of pure lightning came into being as electricity came together to imitate a neural network. Long ago in the far off place, one man duplicated his consciousness and personality with stored lightning and concealed it at the world's end. All that energy is unleashed at an instant. Light is my will, lightning my watch, infinitude my dominion. Already I am untouchable, and now you will fall into the ravine of time. Overlord... Overload? Shouldn't it be Overlord? Whatever. Okay, revise my setup a bit. Irene now has a two-handed sword, so she can maximize the damage of... Oh, eight sword battalion. Yes, let's hope that works. First of all, fighting spirit. Rage. Man. Aria. Aria. Okay. It's a battalion. Attack most I don't want to use those inaccurate moves here. Falling star. Gold King Sword or Monk Send. World turn. 
The sun and the stars began to move all at once. The celestial sphere begins to revolve and the light of the stars become loci with straw lines. The air becomes heavy like water in distorted space-time. On the contrary, body and soul exposed to the tempest of raging time become burdened with days of fatigue with every passing moment. All flowers which bloom must also wither and die. Only I have the power to oppose this law of time. We're all debilitated. Oh no. Material fragment. Attack. Okay. Falling star and you defend. The celestial sphere only accelerates and the moon draws bright lines to the skies that waves, waxes and wanes. Ah. Material fragment. Energy pours in from outside the barrier through the material fragment. You feel the caress of someone's ear. Overwhelming power fills your body to the brim and struggles for supremacy with the space-time distortion. I am divine intervention. Everyone's on people will recover. Mm. Absorb Italian. Attack. Falling Star. Gold King Sword. Sky goes lighter with the day break of day. However, the sun re runs up the celestial sphere at the breakneck speed and disappears to the west sky. Even the sun is prone to the whims of the barrier. Everyone's MP will recover. Eight Sword Battalion. Attack. Falling Star. Gold King Sword. Eight Sword Battalion is my best damage right now, but I still need more. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go all ham with the, my SP to see if I can out DPS this dude. Gold King Sword. Yeah. Falling star, and you use a def you defend. It's a battalion. Attack. Restore field. Ah. Yes, nice crit. Eight sword battalion. Attack. Falling star. Gold King Sword. How much am I doing per turn? Seriously, I wish there was an enemy scanning ability in this game. This is insane. Okay. I think I might have missed my ch chance or something. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like if I get the speed kill. The relentless onslaught disturbs and weakens the lightning that composes Tisa's soul. The shockwaves of battle destroy the surrounding gears and scatter fragments in the space. Eventually, the finishing blow penetrates the core of Tisa's remaining ego. I'm gonna have to go back to my footage and just scan through it. See how many turns it took total. I cannot tell which ending I got. I read my scion, my foolish child. When what I have established is the very essence of humankind. Though my flame may be extinguished, nothing will change. The memory of my empire has already been brought back on the surface. There will be naught but strife. Though this, con uh, this consciousness may cease to be, my existence is firmly stamped throughout history. 
You should continue your existence, you one solitary person, and you should continue to resist the cruel hands of time. I know now, for the first time, what it means to have lost. Farewell, world, for I truly loved you. Seriously? Don't try to play yourself for sympathy. After all you've done, the disc-shaped spiritual nucleus along the center line of Tisa's body shares its successive bursts and is annihilated. Defeat overload. Okay. And so the illusory capital began its collapse. I don't think I got the speed kill ending. It all crumbles to nothing. The temples, the pillars, the palace, the galleries, the stairways, the towers. Problem is, you waste a lot of time in the beginning because of his stupid freaking status effect, and you have to waste an entire turn healing it. So yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, go all ham with my SP. You run in search of some sort of escape, any sort of deus ex machina. The very ground under your feet begins to distort and collapse. You fall like a dream, you fall and then... And then a month following your departure. Excuse me? Ah, oh, shit. I just killed him on the tenth turn. Damn, I'm gonna... I, maybe if I do... But that doesn't mean I'm pretty close. As long as I optimize further, I might be able to pull it off. Ah, oh, that, that sucks, though. I have 67 spare SP. Hey, I was just about to say goodbye. It's about time to leave this town. He said without any prior indication. There's nothing left for me to do here. I'm going out wandering again. The future holds many things. Find your own dream without getting swept away in the dreams of others. We'll see you around. Adios. Rune's boom is about to hit. Other companies are rolling in, and commerce is up, up, up. Ah. Yeah. Oh, well. Front of you flows the Great River where it is said the goddess Archifea dwells. It's called the Great River because it was, is so wide that the opposite bank only appears in a hazy way. The pier extends toward a stream and looks good for fishing. I wonder if the Marlin... No, the Marlin, I think, is a polearm. It won't work with my sword skills. Damn it. Seeing you vanquish Titus, the Temple Guard has sought reconciliation of Duke the, the Dukedom. As a result, the Kingdom of West Sewa was left high and dry, and the war could not continue. It's safe to say his town could see peace for the time being. I suppose congratulations are in order. Thanks to everyone, uh, you, everyone is saved. You don't know how happy this makes me. Place is the cemetery. The graves of those who died in the battle a few days ago continue to line up. The number of refugees who have settled in the slums have gone down, but there is an increased number of migrant workers. It seems they've already become a fixture here. Old sages retreat near the forest is completely burnt down, leaving only pillars and beams that are burnt black. Don't bother coming back, princess. There's still plenty of demand here in this town, so I'll be keeping up with that. No thanks to you. Uh, Irie, welcome. What's up? Uh, me? Well, not much more than it looks like. Just something a store, as usual. Working here was like a dream when it was hustle and bustle, but now it's completely peaceful. But there are many things that can't go back to the way they were. It seems that the searchers are all going home now that it's over. But that's just what happens. It just feels so lonely. It's like when they pack up at the end of the festival. This party's over. If only I'd made a serious effort. I could have been a hero. Arg. It's time for me to be going again, unfortunately. It's surprisingly cozy here, so it's a shame to have to leave. When T is, uh, with T is destroyed, the turmoil done uh, with, for me is now the crucial moment. Now archaeological sites can be explored and excavated without any additional hassle. What is being discovered now is only the last thousand years of an empire. There should be older ruins below. I also wish to clarify the mechanism by which an above-ground sea move underground maintaining its shape. My guess is that originally there was a vast underground world here, and that the sea fell to the ground. My husband was saved. So much has happened, and I'm looking forward to such peace and tranquility now. Who's going to be in charge of this place now that uh, uh, Tior is probably dead? Welcome. I can still buy food from you. What? Am I going to have to fight someone? I'm going to punch someone out? Huh? Daenerys, is he still... Damn it. Uh, Irie, great to see you. I have business back in the capital, so I want to discuss something important before then. The mystery of the petrified children has been solved, and the monsters have been wiped out, but there's still a heap of issues. The Archduke is seriously ill, and the successor of Tiara has disappeared after doing away with the major lords. The Nest Dukedom is on the verge of civil war between the Imperial faction that supported Tior and the lords who wish for independence. Both sides lack leadership, so a forthcoming battle has not yet arrived, which is good, but... 
We will solve our internal affairs quickly. West Sea will be invaded again. So I will be able to make it. Will I be able to make an Azarian reconcile the two factions? I will, of course. Do my best. It seems that Tiara had a child, so perhaps I can use that to our advantage. A child, really? Oh, not that I wish to use children, per se. The end certainly does not justify the means. I worry how much of a difference someone like me can really make, but I don't want to lose my way. That being the case, I take my leave of this town. Thank you for all that you've done. Please continue to protect the people of this town from any future calamities. And so Alston left town with his attendants. Now that Prince Tiora is gone, will Lord Alston be a suitable replacement? He seems a little... I don't know. I've been thinking about taking some time to consider the future, now that things have died down. I want to check in my hometown. I'm worried about my brother and wanted to find out where he's disappeared to. Who stars your brother? I, uh, might have killed him. Or forced him to retreat. But I did take out his eye. Until now, it was more important to attend to my duties here. But since our Lord's death, I'm not sure what my obligation is. And I'd like to, I'd like to leave town for a bit and think it over. I came from the countryside to work for the local government. You can rely on me. Ancient city craze continues on. That means the excavation business will continue. However, even though there are still many monsters in the ruins, the number of people willing to act as escorts is decreasing. But to have someone else rush in and grab the gold before you is a bit heartbreaking. Ah, uh, no, I wasn't talking about you. You're cool. Thanks. What happened to the mages and dwarven blacksmiths after TR was done with them? If they were still here, they could help me operate the Iron Cavalry and take over the world. I've been searching high and low from the library to the graveyard, but there's nothing left to find. I want to learn all of Tidus's magical secrets, but it seems that they've all been lost with him. Perhaps I just need to be patient. Perhaps maybe they even exist within this town. Also, would one come back from a life of running from place to place, stealing rare books from the castles? There's no place for me without, here without war and intrigue. Rummaging through ruins and being an escort gets kind of old. Building a yawn just coming on thinking, just thinking about it. I'm gonna be a great grandpappy. I want to tell you about all sorts of things that come up with that. But I never really saw what all the fuss was with that was with that kind of thing. I'll have to figure it out how to spice it up a bit late, uh, up a bit. Ah, uh, easy money. Anything goes as long as you do it big. Paris was the same as ever. Irie, don't start on me like that. Yo, I'm bored though. Things got pretty cool for a while there, but now it's back to the eternally lame. But you know, this is the first time anyone's ever fussed over me like I'm some sort of grassroots hero. I thought maybe I'd be come hired muscle, but Chuna nagged me out of it. Well, if you guys are gonna get all bent out of shape over it, I'll be a good little boy for now. But man, I'm climbing the walls. I need another big score. Hmm, I think I just came up with something. Think there's any opportunity in the ruins still? Pre something like a personal discovery tour? We guide them through the ruins, then some of us pop out and startle them. It'll be great, don't you think? Sounds awesome. You really think so? Alright, let's do this. <laughs> what? Alright, so our business is pretty slow. Wish someone would cause another uproar. With that, only Chuna is left. Oh, no, wait, this... No, no, if you if you have to move the chair to sweep under the bench, you can't just throw the chair. And Trina and Endor are making quite a racket. Ah, Irie. Right now I'm working here at the temple doing chores. Cleaning, kitchen duty, things like that. I spend half of the time looking after Enna, though. Trina seems a bit worn out. But it's thanks to you all, uh, uh, all that I can even do anything at all. Thank you. Trina bows her head almost in cer uh, ceremony. While dreaming within a crystal, there was only no pain, only happiness. And yet, I felt empty and alone, because I was apart from those who meant so much, mean so much to me. When she heard that, Ada called out. Trina, time to finish up. Huh, isn't there still stuff to be done? We're good for today, Irie. Uh, Irie is here. Why not spend some time together? Okay, thank you so much. Trina gained a comp- is now in my party? She must have gained a lot of power because, uh, that guy, uh, 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 that guy, uh, that guy Titus accidentally awakened it in her, even after he left her body. And then swinging a broom like a spear. Oh, Irie. I'm helping. I'm super good at it. Tell me I'm doing a good job. That does not seem to be true. Trina can tell you how uh, to be helping too. She's very nice. I'm happy to help. Trina looks worn out. The Narrows, you live. We have watched over these ruins for many, many years, but no means, by, by no means do I believe we will be the last either. But this isn't an ideal setup. Emperor Tidus of Archaea bestowed upon humanity both wisdom and a curse. Even with his fall, People will continue to be fascinated by this wisdom and inherit the curse. Yeah, everyone's still going to be obsessed with progress at the cost of their morality. You have all done. You all have done well. The ashes of war remain to be swept out, and I'm sure our problems are not over. But for a while, at least, we can enjoy relative peace. Let's not undersell that. I'm 
not nagging you, butthead. I'm just worried about for you. If you weren't such a tight ass, you'd actually be kind of cute. I'm worried for you too. Where you'll grow up and become a shriveled old spinster, big mouth. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be a wonderful bride someday, and so much more. Well, if you guys are gonna get all bent out of shape over it, I'll be a good little boy for now. Okay. Personal discovery tour. Sounds awesome. What will Chuna say to this? Really think so? Alright, let's do this. No, no response, Chuna. Come on. What if I say no? I don't know about that. Seriously, you're no fun. Oh, well. Hey, we can sleep now. What? Do I have to sleep to continue the day? Is something bad gonna happen tomorrow? Huh. Let's hit the hay. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure something will turn up to, uh, to indicate my ending. Go to sleep and finish the story. I talked to pretty much everyone. Death is the sole usurper of human life. Not all heroes have happy endings. But this tale ends happily. Let this tale end here in a moment of triumph. And so the tale ends, but adventure will never die. Yeah, this is probably the, the, the slow kill ending, right? A shame. Man, I feel ho that sucks, man. I was so close. If only I just got killed him one turn earlier. Man, but if I could... Ah, uh, it really sucks. I'm gonna have to do all kinds of grinding just to figure out how to get there. Well, I'll make my clear save. Having a lot of SP left over is good for New Game Plus, in case I ever feel like doing that. Hmm, the, tr the credits text was not translated, though. That would be too difficult, I guess. Plus, it's kind of low res. Look at that Chuna and Paris are doing some s some weird get-rich-quick scheme. And Chuna looks reluctant. Heh. <laughs> Siphon. Did he ever figure out how to revive his friend? Is he gonna end up be reviving the lost ma magic of Archaea? Hmm, th these are the children of Tior? How are they gonna feel? Because technically, Olsen is the friend of the guy of the people who killed his, their father. Wait, who's that? Is that Melodark? Is he rejoining the temple or something? Looks like it. The, ni the ninja maid. Uh, no hard feelings about your brother, huh? I wonder, maybe, maybe if I brought her along, she would have had something to say to Goose Star. To the <laughs> mansion infiltration. Okay, dr a dragon girl talking to dragonflies, huh? The wolf girl. Kaleha. Hmm, Laban just fishing. Finn. Good end. Wait, wait, wait. Good ending. That's different from the true. The slow. The true ending is supposed to be a slow ending. Did I seriously get the? Did I seriously get the speed kill ending? I guess it's less than or equal to ten. People need to specify that. It's very important. It, it, you know, specifying less than or equal to. Nineteen hours, thirty days. Hmm. In that case, I'm gonna have to try again, but. Purposely uh, slow d uh, uh, nerf my DPS and see what happens, huh? Man. Safe clear data. Good ending. That is... I did... I, I seriously did it without spending my 60 SP? Really? This is just New Game Plus, but... Hmm. Well, let me try out the... A uh, less optimal ending first. Hey, I want to try this out of curiosity. What if I try to use Ethereal Fragment on turn two? What if that? What if that? Will that immediately cure me? I hope it does. But there is strategic value to doing it on turn three as well, because then after his big attack, it would heal me or something. I think. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not really sure what's going, uh, what the best choice is. Okay, attack. Just do the same thing I did before, but with slightly less DPS and hope for the best. Oh no.
Haha. Wow, it does work. Do it, use it on turn two. Unlike me. Overwhelming power. Okay. Hey, that might actually help with, with the DPS too. Okay, I think I got him this. I think I got the the slow ending this time. We're almost a slow. Okay. But the celestial sphere never stops turning. Time is washed away at an uncontrollable rate. This is different. What happened to the sky? I don't remember this. Ari, noble scion, your eternal reward to the end of time. Even if you manage to return to life, time has worn by outside this barrier. Those without any recollection of you will have died out. But my existence, the flame will never go out. The memory of my empire has already been brought on, back on the surface. There will be not by strife. But this consciousness may cease to be. My existence is firmly stamped throughout history. Yeah, I'm, I nerfed my DPS. I even missed a few attacks uh, real, uh, with Irie really unluckily. I think Yin Yang, uh, her Yin Yang attack actually has less accuracy than the Eight Sword Battalion. So yeah, Eight Sword Battalion is the most reliable for DPS, even if it is slightly more expensive. When you return to the ground, you will find a world with no one to lord over its nations. One where no one is left standing from a war with no victor. So yes, I know, I got the, uh, yes, I got the alternate ending now. But I didn't actually expect to get the uh, f this harder ending first. My child, that is my curse and my gift to you. I bequeath unto you my everlasting might. Fit for one such as you to subsist forever in the endless waste of what once was. I know now for the first time what it means to have lost. Girl, world, for I truly loved you. Okay, he, so he blows up again. All data contained within streams into your body. Does he take over my body? Recall killing a member of your tribe with a bone blade in a time when humans were his primates. <coughs> You recall leading your people through the desert and amid a despair of bewildering starvation at first. You recall being at the mercy of fate at the height of its madness. A record of, by all appearances, the whole of time courses through your body and is burned to every nerve. And sure enough, you witness time as it wa is washed away in the rampaging flood, trapping your own screams. What? How, how long did he seal me away? Bruh. You awaken to the sound of water. You alone washed upon the shore, per partly immersed in the lukewarm waters of the river. Where's this place? Where have all your friends gone? How much time has passed since then? What about the allies who were with me in the final battle? You rise up and wander through the fog along the river. Before long, the fog had cleared and revealed the full state of your surroundings. The ruins of an ancient town. Don't tell me this is home! No! Did he destroy home somehow? Only foundations of buildings are left exposed through the grass. It dawns on you. The layout of these walls. The landscape. Home. Your hometown. Perished. Fading. Is it a teaser set? Has the world turned to ruin? Have you lost everything? Then, but then a voice. Irie. I'm so glad. You're okay. Wait. Where's Paris and Parisia? I'll never be alone. You always come back for me. And look out for Paris. He's pro he'll probably still be finding ways to get into trouble. So he did survive? Truna grabs you by the cups and pulls you along happily. In the midst of this happy reunion, you notice a single flower flowing along the surface of the river. Hanging down to the water's edge, you can see many petals flowing along. You set your sights upstream at their invitation. Huh? Eventually you arrive at a gorgeous small city. Oh, I guess he didn't destroy the world. Maybe he, uh, the people of home relocated after the war? The roads paved with stone are crowded with people dressed up. The balcony of a building facing the river is decorated with flowers. It seems to be the height of a festival. At the edge of town, you run into a wayward companion. Huh, you're okay, don't worry me like that. Ah, you, you're alive after all. Who? What good fortune for us both? My, only my party members are around because everyone else must have gotten old by now. Wait, Enda might still be alive. She's she's a dragon, as long as no one tried to kill her with anti-dragon skills. At any rate, this is a wondrous town. Though the people and buildings are unfamiliar in appearance, there's a sense of familiarity somewhere here. They must be descendants of home. The people's faces are almost like the ones back home. You! You're, you're unsealed too? A laughing child running around the streets feels like someone you've met before. Huh? You look just like Ohara. Huh? What's going on? Are these- they get reincarnated? Are these her children or something? The people in the streets feel dear to you somehow. They all take in the festival smiling and laughing. What sort of festival is this, you wonder? The festival is in remembrance of the hero who saved our town. Long ago when demons welled from the bottom of the earth. 
We've come together to celebrate the heroes who took to the sky to defeat the King of Demons. I'm the hero who defeated Titus. Festival music takes hold of you as white flowers and confetti fall like snow. You left the hustle and bustle of the festival and went to, down to the riverside. White petals drift along the surface of the water. They bob up, down, swirl around, and float away. This is a river that swallows all human activity and conflict. There is something here that never changes no matter how much time has elapsed. Your adventures will go on, but for now you'll just take a break and relax. So the, the only difference is that I get sealed away. You close your eyes and reflect on your days of strife, conflict, and battle. And so this chapter of history comes to an end. By the way, Titus has stopped, right? He's not going to come back, is he? He's not going to like ch uh, ch pop out after a cred saying, Aha, I'm going to take a rear body again. Hmm, now they're showing the dungeons. Did they do that before? Huh. Yeah, I guess they would have to because we wouldn't really know what happened to most of the other party members. Yeah, so a snapshot of every dungeon I've ever been in. The giant tower. How'd they fit a mountain inside of a tower? Seriously. Like, I can understand maybe lava, but this, it gets pretty ridiculous after a while. How'd they stuff all this underground? Oh, full body shots of everyone. Or, well, mo almost full. Half body shots, actually. <sighs> yeah, they even changed the credits for each ending. That's pretty thorough, I admit. Just to make sure you know you've got different ones. Honestly, the final boss in terms of difficulty, the main difficulty is trying to get the speed kill ending. Otherwise, it's really easy because of your regenerating MP. You can literally outlast the boss in the Battle of Attrition. Even Chuna can be protected as long as you know when to defend. Yes. I got so lucky during that- uh, during my first win, though. Damn, I'm just on the exact turn that I needed, too. That might be one of the biggest clutches in RPG Maker history. Well, no, no, it would be a bit. It would be a true clutch if it was like the fourth, if my last slowest party member dealed the finishing blow. That would be the true clutch. I actually had some room for error. True ending. How the hell is that a true ending? It, if you had to, if you have to work harder for the good ending, that makes no sense. Hmm. I don't need to save the clear data, but maybe I should anyways. It's, uh, okay, so the uh, I fifteen is the speed kill one. I'm guessing bookmark one is just gonna show all four party members because they I don't think there was any event that forced them to leave my party. Just check. Yep, all four party members for the true ending. Just me and Chuna for the for the speed kill ending. Huh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, for the record, this is the setup I had to maximize my character's attack. Vermilion Sword to get uh, to get her attack all the way to 266. Instead of do, uh, using her... Uh, th th this one. It, uh, yeah, this is good for spamming normal attacks for a sustainable battle, but... The f due to the fact that we generate MP, I might as well just go for as much attack as possible and spam skills. That will deal more damage than simply buffing myself and using double normal attacks. 
Yes. That was a good call. All right, let's just dip our toes in the new game plus real quick. Good ending. <laughs> Play again from the beginning. Tell me why I carry over. You can take one, only one of the following. Well, I already know where all the gold is, so I feel like taking the uh, obtain SP and skill proofs is actually more important because that way you'll be able to raise your stats even higher and make it easier to get the uh, 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 get the speed killed next time. Obviously. So this would give me 33. Only some of my title and skill proofs, really? Search is over, but it's just a single night stream. Just one of many that may come to pass. Time rewinds and flows anew. Wait, could be we're stuck in a time loop? Okay, now we can choose Origins again. But seriously, Rogue is really good. It is... Rogue is per, is very good both for uh, both for the uh, uh, both for the army battle and just for uh, getting good DPS. The knight is also probably a good choice, but it's not as fast, so it, the knight would have a harder time using support skills. Unlike my rogue, who could just use ethereal fragment at the start of a turn and therefore maximize everyone else's potential. Yes. I feel like Rogue Class does get easier towards the end, especially when the enemy's gonna spam magic anyways. Alright, I'm probably not gonna do a New Game Plus right away. I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to it, but the option is always there now that I have two clear saves. Yeah, so game... Yeah, there are a lot of guide dang it moments that I could probably overcome now that I have prior knowledge, huh? Plus, I, I better understand how to read the wiki a little bit, the machine translation. And I also saved it all in PDF so I don't accidentally wear out Google Translate service. So yeah, if I do have to do a new game plus, hopefully that will make things a little easier. But I also heard on the, I also read in the wiki that some bosses in New Game Plus will get stronger. So that is going to be a pain. Even if, just, I guess it's supposed to make up for the fact that I get more SP. And can better optimize my character. But even then, it's only my own character and not all the others who, who get the benefit from SP carryovers, right? Yeah, of course, I also know where to find all the money, so I should be able to more easily equip my characters, too. Know how to... Now, also, no bird about how to get Kaleha's event without losing any bonus SP. Yes. So, there are some things that do not sit well with me, like the cooking system. I really wish they made it more like the mixing system, just give you predetermined results. Since it, you would have to save scum just to ensure that you get all the foods you want. And then there's the... Uh, hmm... And a lot of the bells do kind of feel like they come down to luck if you don't have the exact correct resistances. Yeah, in the later part of the game, it's not too bad, but in the early part where you have a hard time buying all the resistance gear and knowing what, uh, 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 knowing everything ahead of time, then yeah, you are you you are gonna get screwed a lot in battle if they keep stun locking you and such. A lot of my early victories were due to pure luck, due to the enemy not even not using their best moves in that particular attempt, like that big bird. Yeah, in the end game, you obviously have all the equipment you'd need to overcome it, but in the beginning, you don't have as many things to deal with ailments and elemental attacks. Yeah, you can you notice that at the end of the game, I was, I was, just, I was just curb stomping pretty much everything. Except for maybe Titus the second because of his stupidly high DPS. Actually, Titus the second felt harder than Titus the first in many ways. Yeah, I guess sometimes older is not better, huh? Yeah, definitely one of those games where uh, starts super hard, gets super easy at the end. The final boss is more of a DPS check than, than a fight for survival to me. Yes. Anyway, as for the story, I do find it kind of interesting, though there are some vague things like 
the Princess of Veramir. She got turned to the Demon Lord Ibia, right? But on, on the other hand, it sounds like she was the one who... Uh, uh, it sounds like she did some... Her love potion might have turned Titus evil to begin with. At least that's what the River Girl story claims. Like, that seems so weird. Was that something made up by Titus to shift blame away from himself? Or not? She's... Uh, yeah, so Witch of Veramir, the Princess of Veramir, they're the same person. But did she really use a love potion? It also sounds like Titus tried really hard to beat the white deer in order to get her on his side. But then they say she used a love potion. Did she use a love potion before he did the deer hunting quest? I have no idea. It's hard to... Due to all, all the conflicting pieces of lore in the game, it can be hard to tell what's true or not. And also, it also seemed like the, uh, that that uh, that the girl uh, that the Ibia wanted to do so, uh, to oppose Titus somehow, even though she was one of his demon lords. I'm not exactly sure. No, I actually misread that. the The thing I thought was her op opposing it was Argadium is coming down. I guess what they meant was that Argadium would come down as a flowing city in the sky. That's that's what they meant. Not that she was trying to bring down Argadium. She, for the most part, she was. She said she wanted to play. She was supposed to play a role until Argadium comes back. That said, it was rumored that he did betray her later, anyway, since she did become a demon lord. Hmm. So confusing. Yeah, the Witch of Veramir, the one. Let's see. Yeah, she was betrayed and left for the land of the night, so she must have been forcibly turned to a demon lord. But is this story about the uh, about this uh, love potion really true? Hmm. Yeah, these are the conflicting accounts. Who betrayed who? What happened? Hmm, I think that Titus and the River Girl, they say she, she came back after a thousand years to find him sitting like a fool, but that shouldn't have worked because by then Titus would have been succeeded by a, a several generations of his, in his line. I think she, the goddess must have run to like Titus number 16 or something. She, Titus 1 should have been like a ghost by then. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, I think something doesn't add up with this story. 101,000 years, yup. Yeah, it's definitely TS 16. No, of course he would forget everything. He was a different person entirely. But still... How much of the... That does bring up... How much of the potion, love potion story is actually true? Maybe... Maybe it wasn't a love potion. Maybe... Uh, 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 maybe Titus the first was just really unfaithful, yeah. NTR. Well, this is it for this current let's play of Ruin of Fairy Tale: The Forgotten Ruins. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try out the game for yourself. But maybe on easy because it's kind of difficult in the beginning.